Hi, um, this is Dr. Robert Bragan, and um, uh, I've had some questions about muscle testing and about kinesiology and how that fits into TFT and how it works. So kinesiology muscle testing is actually uh, a system that was developed in chiropractic medicine um, over probably about 40 years ago now. And what it was used for was a way to localize uh, the joints or the muscles or the skeletal problems that chiropractors would then treat. And it was fascinating stuff because it's simply, you don't have to talk, you just focus on something in the body and you muscle test. Muscle test simply means finding whether the muscle reacts quickly and strongly or whether it reacts slowly and weakly. So those are two ways to think about it. Um, and so anybody can do it because it doesn't cause any harm when you do this. You, you never push on a joint or a muscle or a, a part of the body that might be injured or might not be able to sustain the stress of it. Now, we're using little bits of stress, not much. This is not, a, this is not testing how much strength you've got. It's not like weightlifting. It's just noticing how quickly and how strongly your muscles engage when you think about or engage in certain kinds of activities. So in thought field therapy, we're simply going to ask you to think about the thing that's bothering you. That will tune you to the thought, and then we're going to do a gentle muscle test with you. The results of that muscle test will either be strong or it'll be weak. If it's strong, it tells us one thing. If it's weak, it tells us something else. And then there's a protocol we go through um, to find out what it's going to take to make it strong when you say that, think that, or in that thought field. Because that will indicate that there's no longer a disturbance in that thought field. And you will feel the results, almost always, you feel the results immediately. So I can't really get into it with you because if I do, uh, I need to show you how it works. And then the other part of it is you're not going to believe it unless you're actually doing it. So I could show you some muscle testing with people, but you know what, until you experience it yourself, you don't get it. I mean, the first time I saw thought field therapy, the whole thing, I just said, this is just too crazy, I'm not doing this. But when I experienced it for myself, then I said, there's something happening. The evidence was just apparent in my own experience. And then I could start doing the muscle testing stuff because I knew what that felt like, and I also know what it feels like in other people you begin to make some sense out of it. But trust me, in the beginning, it will make you crazy because you'll be going, huh, what, how does that work? And that, those are all good questions, but you don't have to answer them completely. You just know how, no need to know how to use it. Anyway, um, I'm blabbering on here about this. I want you at some point to come take a training with me or with somebody else who's trained in thought field therapy, intermediate training, the diagnostic level, and you'll have the experience for yourself. And you will know for yourself whether it's real, whether it's not. I know it is. Give it a try sometime.